hello everyone you're welcome to my channel you're welcome to decent stitch if you're a new subscriber or returning subscriber you're welcome please kindly like share comment subscribe please subscribe and click the notification bell thank you This is my front and back bodies. I'm going to be starting with the front piece. The first thing I'm going to do is to increase my neckline. This neckline is very fitted, so I'm going to increase it. I'm going to increase the neck width by one inch and also the neck depth by one inch then the armhole because it's a puff sleeve I'm going to re remove one inch I don't like to have puff sleeve at the exact shoulder I come in by one inch and make it shorter so that the puff won't extend the shoulder. I'll start from the midpoint of the armhole and blend it into the one inch. Then I'm going to cut them out. I'll be doing the same for the back piece. I'll take off one inch from the neck width. The neck depth can be the same if you want it that way, or you bring it down by one inch also. Then the arm hole, I'll take out one inch. I'll connect it towards the middle of the arm hole. Then cut them out. This is the back piece for my skirt. I've explained how to make a simple straight skirt before the front piece will be cut opened you are cutting the paper folded i'm cutting it opened because it's an asymmetric skirt there's an asymmetric cut on the front part so you need it opened for the back piece i'm cutting it this way i use it to cut two pieces for the back for the back piece, the only thing I need to adjust is the length because this is a long skirt. I will adjust it to the length that I need. It's going to be below the knee. So I'll mark 2 inches below the knee. I'll do the same for the front piece. I'll measure 2 inches below the knee.
then I'll cut out the remaining part of the skirt and discard it. I'll do the same for the front also. This is the back piece. I'll keep it aside. For the front piece, I'm going to give it a cut. From the center of the skirt, I'll connect it to the darts. That's the beginning of the darts. And from the other side of the darts, I'll connect it also to the center. I'm going to cut off this place. About one inch has been taken out from the hip length area, as you can see. So our advice you add one inch is to your hip, so that it will come back to your size. I'm going to turn this from a straight skirt to a pencil skirt now. What I will do is to measure 1.5 inches by the side here and I'll connect it back to the hip line I prefer to fold into two and do this so I have equally on both sides and it's faster for the back piece I'll do the same I measure 1.5 down here at the end and connect it to the hip Then cut them out and discard the side piece. For the front piece, I'll cut the two at the same time. Like I said earlier, it's faster and they will be equal. Now it is a pencil skirt. For me to be able to identify this paper after separating the two, I need to label the papers. This is my M. This is the waist. This is the side and the other side to our label it. I'm going to give it a small opening down here because the dress after joining this place has a small opening here. I'll measure five inches and measure two inches down here. That is all for my front piece, so I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to discard this. And I'm also going to discard this other little piece here. Now I'm going to cut the two pieces out.
like I was saying before, look at the hip line. One inch has been taken out from the little piece I want to discard. About one inch has been taken out. So that was why I said before that you should add one inch ease to your hip measurements. But if you have it, if you have excess to balance it, then it's fine. So your hip measurement will be short at the end of the day. The sleeve is a three quarter sleeve, while this pattern is a long sleeve that gets to the wrist. So I'll measure my three quarter length that I want. Here I used seven inches, 17 inches, sorry. I'll trim this off and discard it. It's a long sleeve that gets to the wrist, so I'll remove that part and discard it. Also, I'm going to separate it here at the elbow length line and label this paper. I have here on fold. This is my elbow length. This is the three quarter length. I have my sleeve in two pieces the straight one and this one will be used to form the ball and the puff effect i'm going to be doing slash and spread on this one i'll measure what i have here i have about five inches i'm going to use one one inch to slash it and i'm going to be slashing it all the way up here i'm going to measure what i have I have about seven inches i'll be using 1.25 inch to make each of the pieces i want to slash i'll start from this side i'll measure 1.25 1.25 all the way so this is the remaining piece i won't mind it's longer than the other ones or it's bigger than the other ones i won't mind now i'm going to connect my dots and draw my line all the way to the top I'm going to label them one two three four and five Now I'm going to slash the first one. I'll get very close to the tip. I need to place a paper underneath this. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please kindly like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new here and click the notification bell. Thank you.